Several years ago, when Congress started looking at the use of digital technology by preteens, they became concerned that parents weren't understanding what their kids were doing. And at the same time, the kids weren't understanding the import of personal information they were sharing, both with companies that might market to them, as well as creeps online. This resulted in a law called COPPA, the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, which has been in place for about 13 years now. It's been up for review, but for the most part has remained exactly the same in the way it had been drafted. And what it says is, depending upon what a network is doing with your kids' personally identifiable information, whether it's collecting it for its own use, whether it's collecting it to be shared with marketers, whether it's allowing kids to use digital technology to talk to others, even if you're not collecting it, the parents deserve to know what's happening and give consent for certain levels of activity. In some cases where you're just collecting the kid's email address, you have to send a notice to the parent and as long as the parent doesn't send something back saying, not my kid, you're allowed to do that. Over the years, I've been advising most of the kids' industry, certainly all of the big names, on complying with COPPA as well as exceeding what COPPA requires in protecting children from um, privacy risks and security issues and keeping them safe online. Tomorrow at noon, the FTC will be announcing the first major change under COPPA in the last 13 years. This will affect parents who now will have, I suspect, greater rights than they had under COPPA, but it means they have to pay attention. It will uh, affect kids who will now not be able to use some sites that won't be able to jump through these new hoops and may find that new technologies will open themselves up as kids are looking for something to replace it. It will affect networks who now have to comply with the law or lock kids under the age of 13 out or pretend that they don't exist. It's a complicated time. I hope that all of the comments over the last year and a half that those of us as advocates and professionals in the privacy space has impacted what this law will be. So COPPA, the new rule, is arriving tomorrow. How will it affect you as a family? How will it affect you as a business and network? And how will it make sure that our kids are safer without throwing out the industry with the COPPA bathwater?